Hello friends, welcome to our channel. So in today's session, let us see a simple program in C language to convert the decimal number to a binary number. Decimal to binary. So as we know, the binary, binary number is the sequence of bits that is zeros and ones. Then the decimal numbers are complete uh, uh, natural numbers. So, first let us see the procedure of conversion of this binary decimal to binary, and then we will move on to the program. See, if the decimal number is five, so how to find out the binary equivalent of this five? So binary is the combination of zeros and ones so that is two bits so we call it as base two now five is divided by two so that keep the remainder aside so two twos are four and the remainder is one next Again, repeat the same process. Two ones are two, and the remainder is zero. Right? Stop here. So the number of the sequence of bits from downward towards the upward gives the binary equivalent of any decimal number. That means five. The decimal 5 is equal to the binary of, we have to start from lower number to higher number. So here the remainder is 1, I mean um, the quotient is 1, so 1, 0, 1. This is the binary equivalent of number 5. So for this, so as we have seen, we have to divide it with two and we have to store the uh, remainder value so first store the remainder value n divided by two that must be stored in the remainder right again we have to perform the division operation so n is equal to n by 2 and we have to repeat this process and again the remainder should be kept aside so for this purpose instead of using a variable we can take an array that is let us take binary array binary of i is equal to n mod 2 so the result will be stored in binary of i initially take i value as 0 and for every iteration update the i value and we have to repeat the process until n is greater than 0 so y n greater than 0 we have to repeat this process this is simple logic and in order to print the resultant binary, here we have to consider from lower one to upper one. So here we have to print from i minus one to zero, the index value, so that the resultant will be in a binary, exact binary. So as here we are considering z one zero one. So here, if you take the binary array, this will be stored in binary of 0, this will be stored in binary of 1, and this will be stored in binary of 2. So, we have to print from binary 2 to 0, that means from index 2 to 0, upper index to lower index value. 
So that gives the correct answer. See, let us write a program and then we can trace it so that you will clearly understand. So just a mod operator and the division operator. Right. So we'll start from the main function. Wide main. So I have to read the n value. So for the reading function, we have to use scanf. So now the value of n is there. Now we have to repeat the loop while n greater than 0. So whenever the n value is greater than 0, this loop will be executed. And only when the n is less than 0, then only the loop will be terminated. Here, we have to take a binary value, so binary array b of i is equal to n mod 2. So initially i value must be 0, i value must be 0. Next, we have to update the n value n divided by 2. And also we have to increment the index value, so i plus plus. So for the next iteration, the next Reminder should be in next index value. So I am updating the index value. That's it. Close. So whenever the value of n is greater than 0, the loop will be executed. Whenever the value of n is less than 0, the loop will be terminated. Now we have to print from higher index value to lower index value of a given array. So for j is equal to i minus 1 j greater than or equal to 0 decrement minus minus so starts from higher index value to lower index value here we are using is equal to so till the i value j value is 0 it will be printed simply we can write the printf statement printf percentage d b of j that's it now write the declaration so whatever the variables we have used in the program we have to declare in the above so int so first we need an array so initialize the array with a maximum value let it be some hundred next n value next i value next one it's a j value right this is a simple thing now let us trace this program so that you can clearly understand now first coming to the scanf reading of n value so if n is equal to 10 n is equal to 10 now see n greater than 0 so n greater than 0 the condition is true then b of i is equal to 10 mod 2 so here the 10 mod 2 that means 0 right 0 next n is equal to n by 2 n is equal to 10 by 2 that is 5 n is equal to 5 i plus plus so here i is equal to 0 initially so b of 0 is equal to 0 i plus plus i is equal to 1 right this comes the first iteration coming to the second iteration now again n greater than 0 so 5 greater than 0 this is also true now b of i here b of i here i is equal to 1 b of 1 is equal to n mod 2 that is 5 mod 2 
So 5 mod 2, 2 2s are 4, the remainder is 1. So 1 will be stored here. Next, n is equal to n by 2, 5 by 2. Consider the integer value. So it is 2. Now i is equal to incremented. So i is equal to 2. Next, 2 greater than 0. The condition is true. So b of 2 is equal to 2 mod 2. The remainder is so b mod 2 is it the remainder is 0. n is equal to 2 divided by 2. That is 1. i is equal to 3. Again, 1 greater than 0. So b of 3 is equal to 1 mod 2 1 mod 2 so here a is less than 2 if a is less than 2 I mean a is less than b a mod b will be a right so here 1 is less than 2 so here b of 3 is 1 and n is equal to n divided by 2 that means 1 by 2 that is implies 0 is simply 0 now i is equal to 4 i is equal to 4 next 0 greater than 0 here false right now the loop will be terminated again for j is equal to 1 so j is equal to so here while loop ends Here, j is equal to i minus 1. Here, i is 4. So, i minus 1, 3. j greater than or equal to 0. 3 greater than or equal to 0. True. Print of b of j. So, b of j is b of 3. b of 3 is 1. So, b of 3. That is equal to 1. Next j minus minus so j is equal to 2 2 greater than or equal to 0 condition true so then b of 2 we have to print b of 2 b of 2 is 0 and j minus minus so j is equal to 1 1 greater than or equal to 0 condition true b of 1 so b of 1 value is 1 j minus minus j is equal to 0 0 greater than or equal to 0. Here we have mentioned is equal to greater or equal to. So here also the condition is true. So b of 0 is equal to 0. Next, j minus minus. j is equal to minus 1. Minus 1 greater than or equal to 0 condition fails. So the loop will be terminated. Now the answer will be 1, 0, 1, 0. So, this is the binary equivalent of 5. Oh, sorry, I think it, here it is a 10. So 10, the binary equivalent of 10 is 1010. One, right? So hope you understood this uh, simple uh, logic and a very simple problem. Just only two operators we are using, only the mod operator and the division operator. And we have we are just repeating the same steps until the n is greater than zero. So here, as you as we know that if you consider any loop, the three things should be followed. One is a loop variable initialization, updation, I mean uh, the condition and the updation. So here we have initialized the loop variable. Here we have updated the condition. I mean we are we are writing the condition, and here we are using the loop variable incrementation addition right so this is a very simple program hope you understood and uh, it will be used in your uh, career and uh, thanks for watching if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, c programming feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i uh, will definitely try to clarify all your doubts so if you really understood my videos like my videos share my videos with your friends 
and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much